Hello folks and welcome to another video. I did promise you one this week didn't I? Or two this week even. But this one we're going to look at something slightly different. This. Here we go. This is a traffic light segment. A segment because it clicks in underneath the lights with a sign that says no u-turns or it could be a keep left or turn right or no turn left or no turn right or cyclists only or whatever these are very common over here in the uk anyway this one is made by peak probably date around about the 90s could be a bit earlier or a tad earlier though earlier ones tend to be either uh, siemens or pike i think pike was an old name as well Probably not. Let me know in the comments if it wasn't. It could be something probably newer than that. But if you want to go really old school with traffic lights and traffic automation, then the name Plessy comes into mind that designed and installed many, many traffic light systems over the countries back in the 70s to the 80s. Also, when they were actually operated by the all clicky switches called solenoids, and things like that and relays it was a popular uh, make of uh, that was by a company called autoflex and you would hear the boxes on the side of the road clicking and ticking away as the relays and the old solenoids clicked in and out changed the traffic i mean as we know now you open up a cabinet and there's a laptop in there doing the whole lot or some kind of computer tower anyway let's look at this one then this one acquired it's uh, not in bad shape actually, it's really quite good. Um, it's a plastic uh, plastic case and of course, and adjustable, adjustable thing there, a little cog there, so it clicks in and holds with the other segments that you put on top. A bit like one of those kind of disco lights that you can put in different shapes and things like that, same sort of thing. Easy opening, these two little lugs there, they twist shut to hold the lamp there. Uh, you can do that with a screwdriver or just a pair of pliers and comes out. Uh, this is Perspex plastic. Inside the usual, I've actually got the um, actual lighting segment out of this at the moment, but we'll come on to that in a minute because uh, I'll do, do some tests on that one. Uh, just your, your cabling in, take your, another bracket there to sit on another, another top, another light. Various um, holes to put the screws in. Nothing really that interesting. And then that shuts like that and that clicks and the lens is held in with some little grub screws around the top so let's put this down here now let's go to the interesting bit all right this is the innards this is what lights the sign up now as you can see here it's in actual fact if i lay that down i'm going to attempt to put, tilt the camera down so we can see it ah oh, there we go now as you can see here, three starters, starters obviously you need to put in, I've got three of those. All the tubes are totally blown. What we're going to do to start with is, just before, I've got it wired up ready to plug in, but before we do that we'll just do a little check on, make sure that we've got no problems with live or earth leakage in. So let's just test the earth, so both in the one on there and then I can pot around and yeah no problem there that is earthed yeah let's see wherever I put this on there can you hear the meter is actually the meter is actually bleeping so this means we've got good earth just to check the live side of it so we just put the live into there and then that's good that's good just doing this on the baby ballasts just to make sure that everything is fine so to me that is good we also do a visual inspection um if there's a fuse here which the actual cap that goes on top is missing but i don't think we bother too much about that because it's not in it's going to be in a private collection but it still works good so let's see what we can do then. First of all, we need to put some starters in it now. Three starters. I bought a load of these. These are Tongues Ram. Some of you might remember that name from lamps. 
light bulbs, tubes, things like that. And then just clip them in there like that. And then we'll get that ready. And this plate actually screws in very well. You've got two little screw holes and it goes straight back in the actual uh, into the into its cabinet. Right, brand new. Yes, in the post today, brand new Sylvana. Eight, no, six watt tubes. There we go. Now, I always for sign postage, postage, posts, signpost lights, I always like to prefer to buy daylight because it gives a better output. So, we've got three of those to go in, uh, made by Sylvana. So, we'll take these out, get these out, just wiggle them around a bit, and they will come out. These are very blackened, as you can see. There we go, very very black there on the very blown. Put them over there. There we go. Right, one out there. Right, so let's get these new tubes in. Put one in there like so. It's always important to make sure that you get the correct the correct tube. And also be careful with these uh, lamp holders each end because they do get rather brittle over the years and they can be a nightmare to change some of these so I'm get that one in there mighty oh there we are and one more one more one more one more now this one has got a bit of a a wriggly lamp holder that end right there we go so these are all in nice and tight so let's fire them up and see what happens Oh, there we go, look at that. Voila. <laughs> that is lovely. That is lovely. That's going to look amazing in the back of... when it gets back into the behind the signal because it's white. White is very important. So, brand new starters, brand new tubes. A quick check with a meter around the back. And we're in business. So, there we go. Whoa. So, there we are. It works fine. Hey, what about that then? <laughs> I'm very happy with that. There we go. There we are. There we go. Right, well, if you enjoyed this one, I shall post a picture on my Facebook page of that, or I might even just do another quick video of the sign lit up when I get it all put back together, because I want to clean and scrub the actual cabinet that it goes in, out, all the workings of it, and so on, you know, inside, give it a good clean. So there we go then. That concludes the peak traffic light segment with an IU turn on I hope you like this video I always say that thumbs up if you like it subscribe if you haven't as I said on the last video we just had lots of good subscribers on so let's keep the good work up and I'll have another video for you soon and remember if you're doing this stuff be very careful and you do so at your own risk bye till the next one cheerio